Hey, welcome back to Guillotine the 18th Century Chemist Theater. Today we are going to talk about probably the most important trend in the periodic table, and that's the idea of atomic radius. Almost every other trend in the periodic table is built off the concept of radius, so it's important that we talk about radius first. Um, now radius is a little hard to determine only because electrons don't necessarily have a clear edge, but most of it's done by looking at bonding between other atoms and then figuring out the distance. So people have figured this out. And so within a family, the vertical trend is, as you go down a family, what do you think is going to happen to radius? Is it going to get bigger or smaller? If you said bigger, you're right. But the reason is, uh, you know, that's the interesting part, why does it get bigger? Well, two things are happening as you go down a family. As you go down a family, you're adding on another layer of electrons, all right? And that increases the distance of the outermost electrons from the nucleus. So that should make sense. If you're filling up a stadium, you fill up a row of, row of seats, and the next group of students has to sit farther away. But on top of this, there's also something called the shielding effect. Um, and we can demonstrate it here. And what the shielding effect does is uh, core electrons, inner electrons, end up shielding the outermost electrons pull uh, from the nucleus. And if it's the pull of the electron that kind of snugs in the distance, then core electrons will shield them from that, and there'll be less of a pull, and the electron will float farther away. So right here, look at this, right? If there's no shielding, the electrons are going to get snugged in a little bit. But if there is shielding, again, consider the fact that the electron really can't hear the nucleus as well, and so it's going to fade away a little farther. Just like if you were with your teacher, in a crowded uh, auditorium, it's harder for them to get your attention. And so you might fade a little farther away from your teacher. And so these two things are the main reason that uh, things get bigger as you go down a family. And that trend of electrons being farther away are going to have a lot of ramifications on the properties of electrons and how they bond you know, and how they get gained or lost. Uh oh. Oh, crazy koala. And so the vertical trend most people can get. Um, but the idea of the horizontal trend is what really confuses a lot of students. Uh, so just be ready for the opposite of what you think would happen. And these electrons are going to go after a crazy koala here. So the horizontal trend is exactly opposite of what you th would think. You might think as you go across the periodic table, you're adding more electrons and the radius would get bigger. Uh, well, that's partially true. There, you are adding more electrons, but as you go across the pe period, the, the, the actual radius gets smaller. Um, and this is the opposite of what most students would predict. And the reason this happens has a lot to do with the protons in the nucleus. All right? As you move right to, I mean, left to right, you are adding more electrons, that's true. Uh, but you're also adding more protons to the nucleus. And what that does is that increases the pool of the nucleus, the, the positive charge. And what that will do is that will pull all electrons in closer to the nucleus because all electrons are being pulled by that stronger nuclear charge. All right. And so what actually happens is as we move across, here's the, here's here's some elements there. We go lithium all the way to um, neon there. And so as we as we have more protons in the nucleus, watch the electrons get snugged in. Now again, I'm using the planetary model. Obviously, they don't look like that, but that's the handy thing about the planetary model. <laughs> is those electrons will get snugged in tighter. All right? So it's the same shielding effect uh, that we talked about before in the vertical trend, because in this case, there's two electrons getting in the way, but there are more protons pulling. And so there's only so much that those electrons can shield, and therefore all the other electrons will get snugged in. So that's the horizontal trend. So, and again, we're talking broad strokes here. Uh, but as you move left to right, uh, the radius tends to get smaller because, again, even though you're adding more electrons, uh, the pool is getting greater. All right? And the last thing you want to talk about for radius is what happens with ions. And, we, and there's definitely a lot more detail you can go in for this. Uh, but the radius of an ion will be different than that of a neutral atom. Okay? Anions tend to be bigger than the original, and cations tend to be smaller. And the reason why is, is and this is where common sense does kick in, uh, for, for uh, anions, you're going to have uh, less of a nuclear pull on each electron. 
and so the electrons will fade out a little bit more. Plus, since you do have a, another electron, there is a slight increase in electron-electron repulsion, um, and so that'll push the electrons away from each other a little bit too. But you know, uh, more electrons are going to mean uh, uh, a little less pull on each electron, so they fade out a little bit. And it's just the opposite for cations. All right, if uh, if you have uh, less electrons, then each of them can get pulled in a little bit more. Plus, there's less electron-electron repulsion, and so therefore it's going to snug in a little bit. So anions tend to get a little bigger, and cations tend to get a little smaller. And so the idea of radius is extremely important. And what we'll do after this is we'll talk about two more trends. Uh, we'll talk about the idea of ionization energy, which is how easy it is to remove electrons. We will talk about electron affinity, which is how badly they want electrons. And then we'll talk about something called electronegativity, which again is a super important trend that we've already touched on before. But there's more where that came from. Hey, hey Willie's in the club. Nice job, Willie. So we'll be uh, kind of resolving this plot line in the very near future, and we'll figure out if they actually do get crazy koala. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, again, atomic radius is a super important trend, so make sure you master it. Keep studying, and have a great day.